Dear colleague, welcome to this course on stereotactic neurosurgery, an introduction for residents in neurosurgery. The human brain is a complex machine and the field of neurosurgery has over time developed from a number of basic techniques towards more and more refined procedures, which has divided our speciality into a number of rather distinct sub-specialities, or more correctly, supra-specialities. As a resident in neurosurgery, you are expected to learn to master the basics of neurosurgery but also to familiarize yourself with the different supra-specialities. Stereotactic neurosurgery encompasses basic skills that should be a part of every resident's knowledge, such as frame-based stereotactic biopsies, but also functional procedures such as deep brain stimulation and psychiatric procedures, of which the typical resident cannot be expected to have more than a basic understanding. Stereotactic neurosurgery has been a part of neurosurgery since 1947, and the introduction of DBS has resulted in a dramatic expansion of the field. I believe this to be the fastest developing field within neurosurgery, with more than 180,000 implanted patients, more than 10,000 scientific papers, and numerous new brain targets, indications, and technical solutions. Unfortunately, to get a proper training in stereotactic neurosurgery is not always easy, and for that reason we have created the Stereotactic Academy at stereotactic.org. This is an e-learning resource under the auspices of the World Society for Stereotactic and Functional Neurosurgery. Here we are providing more than 140 lectures and courses on stereotactic neurosurgery from well-renowned experts in the field. And you can here learn virtually everything an expert should know within the field of stereotactic functional neurosurgery. However, most residents in neurosurgery will not, in the end, pursue this path, but some other path than the stereotactic. For that reason, we have together with a number of residents and experts in neurosurgery created a course that will cover what we consider that everyone should know after completing a residency in neurosurgery. This course is thus not intended for those who want to pursue a career within the field, but for those who need a general introduction as a part of their residency. For those who want to pursue a career, we have more than 20 specialized courses. After completing this course, you will have an understanding of the development of the field of stereotactic functional neurosurgery, how different brain targets are identified and the stereotactic coordinates are calculated, how DBS implantations, lesions and biopsies are performed indications and expected results, and the mechanism of deep brain stimulation. We have here focused on clinical skills, knowledge that should be of direct value to you, especially in your hands on training in the OR. The requirements are not the same for residents in neurosurgery in all countries, but varies considerably. Further, the recommendations are in some countries very ambitious, but are in reality seldom met. Therefore, it is best that you discuss the local requirements with your supervisor and then decide if the present course covers what you need to know or if you should add something from our more detailed courses. In order to take the course, please go to the Stereotactic Academy at stereotactic.org. You will need to register before you can enter the content. After you have received access, please go to the online courses and choose Stereotactic Neurosurgery, an introduction for residents in neurosurgery. The course consists of 22 lectures. Note that many of these lectures are part also of other courses. They will sometimes suggest you to continue with other lectures or to do some exercises. But lectures and exercises not mentioned in this curriculum are not part of the present course and can be ignored. 
The course is divided into four parts. In the first lectures you will get a historical background as well as an overview of the current state and trends regarding the future of stereotactic neurosurgery. This is not something you need to know in detail, but it is quite interesting and something that you should have an understanding of as a neurosurgeon. In the next part we will look at targeting. This consists of four lectures. In the first two we will discuss targeting in general, including principles of atlas and visual anatomical targeting, how to choose trajectories and how to calculate coordinates. If you are to be able to perform a stereotactic biopsy, then you need to master the fundamentals of targeting. The two subsequent lectures deals with targeting in the VIM and STN for DBS. You can watch these cursively if you don't need to be able to do it yourself. If you need to learn how to do it yourself, then I suggest that you do also the targeting exercises. We have many available cases that you can download. Here you can do the targeting according to the instructions in the lectures and then compare with our suggestions. You will find these exercises in the courses on targeting, on biopsies and on the individual functional targets. So look this up if you are interested. The next part deals with surgery. In the first three lectures we will look at how to assemble, prepare and mount the stereotactic system. We are using the most common frame in these presentations. If your department is using another system, please consult the appropriate lecturer in the lecture list to get specific information also regarding that system. You need to master this information if you are going to perform stereotactic biopsies. In the subsequent three lectures we will cover implantation of a DBS system, radio frequency lesions and biopsies. It might seem as one should start with biopsies, but it is better to start with the DBS lecture since this will provide some details that are of interest also for the following lectures. We have further one lecture dealing with intraoperative evaluations. In the final part we we'll look at indications and results. We will start with DBS for essential tremor, dystonia and Parkinson's disease. We will also discuss how DBS works before turning to lesional procedures and finally to stereotactic biopsies. And with that we have reached the end of the course. You have then the possibility of performing a test after which you will receive a document confirming your completion of the course. So welcome to the Stereotactic Academy at stereotactic.org. Thank you.